Well, right now we're in Bethlehem Soccer Complex, um, a brand new facility um, that's open on St. Croix, on the center of the island of the St. Croix U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, we officially opened August 11th, uh, 2019. Uh, FIFA president uh, came here with an entourage of, of delegates from around the region and opened the facility. It's a sport that is growing and um, we have um, tremendous numbers at the youth level who is actually interested in the sport. Um, this facility, when, it's first, when it first opened, you see that our attendance had doubled in the first couple of months. Um, so it is well needed and uh, we are making good use of it. This facility is the first of its kind in the Caribbean. Uh, we actually have the highest rated uh, uh, pitch, uh, FIFA Pro pitch, and also uh, with the LED lighting system is is also one of a kind. Basically, it's needed because of a lot a lot of our players who play the sport are amateurs, and, and most of our events are held in the evening time so that they can actually get some lights, you know, so they don't have to rush home from work and basically don't have enough time to practice in, in regular light. Yeah, Moscow came highly recommended to us um, based on the research that we did, um, especially the requirements of FIFA. We have to actually send in quotes. So from doing our homework and also asking other customers out there, Moscow was basically number one. And if you look at the quotes, they're also the most cost effective. So um, we realized that they offer 24 hour tech support. Um, so it, it really went a long way. And the ability to control the lights from anywhere in the world on, via, via cell phone or even a, a laptop, um, that, was, that plays a lot because um, we, we do have people want to use the field at different times. So sometimes it'd be tough to have a, a, a caretaker guy watching a team practice late at night. So the whole idea is of turning it on and turn it off at, 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 at will, that, would, that played a good role also. Oh, well, um, the, uh, the neighbors love it. The soccer players, the soccer fans love, love the lights. They love the facility. Um, basically, you, you could actually just see the field light up instead of, let's say, the whole neighborhood, because you could see we're, we're, we're close to residential areas. So the lights, basically, when they're on, they're just focusing on the field itself. So um, they're well received. Um, everyone loved the facility, loved the lights, they loved the bleachers. Yeah, definitely, soccer is on the up in the Virgin Islands, and Moscow played a good part in that. Well, um, I know there are a lot of suppliers out there, a lot of manufacturers, um, but you just do your homework. Um, Moscow has been around for a number of years, and even though when I was actually wasn't looking for lights, and I was probably a regular player playing the sport, I would see the Moscow logo on lights, and I wasn't really too sure what actually meant. But from doing my research, I realized that okay, there's a reason why they've been around this long. So.